He cracked the code of reality and became a billionaire simply by doing this one thing. Any idea that is held in the mind that is emphasized, that is either feared or revered, will begin at once to clothe itself in the most convenient and appropriate form available. Andrew Carnegie became a billionaire. He went from $1 to $309 billion simply by doing this one thing, by developing his level of concentration and attention on one thing for five minutes without allowing any other thoughts to come in. And as he was gaining his wealth, he was even interrogated by the government and they were wondering if he was doing some sort of malpractice with his business, but they, they soon discovered that everything was legit within his business. And they went and asked him and they said, Andrew, how are you doing this? How are you creating this much money? And he said exactly this. Most people can't hold their attention on one thing for more than a few seconds because the mind is like a butterfly. The thoughts are always flying around everywhere. But if you can train your mind, to concentrate on one thing for five minutes without allowing any other thoughts to come in and learn to control the muscle of your mind and develop it and hold on to a feeling state, you will manifest and create anything you want to come into your life because if you want to successfully change your concept of yourself, successfully shift your identity, you must have a well-sustained attention on the object which is changing your concept of yourself because prayer is the art Art of believing. Pray as if you already have something and then you will have it. But how well of a controlled attention do you have on the feeling that you already have these things? And this is the secret to what Neville Goddard was talking about when he said this right here. The great secret is a controlled imagination and a well-sustained attention firmly and repeatedly focused on the object to be accomplished. So the trick and the secret is to master the development of your controlled attention on a feel, your feeling of the wish fulfilled. So how well of a sustained attention do you have? How well can you hold on to your feeling states? And this is a lot of the issues that people have when they're trying to manifest because they start to manifest something. They start to work on something with affirmations, scripting, or visualization. Then all of a sudden something happens in their three-dimensional world and they start reacting to that. They lose focus of the wish fulfilled. They cannot detach from these things that are happening to them. Their mind cannot focus long enough on the feeling of the wish fulfilled until it comes into your reality. So this is the, the, the trick. This is the art of believing. Prayer, the art of believing, is holding your attention on your wish fulfilled. So I'm going to give you an exercise and a technique to see where you are with your level of attention. Because once you develop this one skill, once you develop this one skill, you're going to be able to create and manifest anything you want to come into your life. So this is what I want you to do. I want Want you to get sit down in a chair or lay down on a bed or get comfortable somewhere where you can relax for a minute. I want you to close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and I want you to imagine. I want you to use your imagination here and you're going to visualize. You're going to close your eyes and you're going to imagine a $100 bill or whatever native currency you have or wherever you're living, whatever the, the equivalent to that would be, the $100 bill, I want you to count out stacks of $100 bill on a table in front of you in your imagination. And I want you to count to $10,000 or euros or whatever your native currency is. So what you do is you're holding the $100 bill. I want you to look at it front to back, study it. You know what it looks like in your imagination. If you don't, Go get one first and take a look at it or go look one up online and take a really good look at what the front and the back of the bill look like. Memorize that in your imagination. Hold your attention on the $100 bill. What does it look like? Focus your attention. How well can you be specific and detailed with the outlines of that $100 bill? Now you're going to count that $100 bill. One, two, three, four, all the way up to 1,000. And I want you to count 10 stacks. 
$10,000 in your imagination. I want to see because this is going to excite you. This is going to be an easy exercise because this is not just counting some random thing that you don't desire. Everyone desires another $10,000 into their life. So when you're imagining this, you are actually creating this to come into your life as well because whatever you imagine is going to come into your life. If you're in alpha state, you drift into alpha and then theta and fall asleep doing this, you're going to create money to come into your life. Cash is just gonna come into your life. All of a sudden, you're gonna start seeing $100 bills. People are gonna start giving you money. They're gonna start giving you jobs. You're gonna have more money coming into your life. So there's two sides of this that are beneficial to you. You're going to gain your ability to focus your attention on one thing and you're also gonna have lots of great things come into your life. So if you've never done this before, start today. It's just like climbing the ladder, okay? What Neville Goddard taught my grandfather in the back of the Wilshire e -Bell Theater. You climb a ladder, you climb up and down a ladder to sleep at night, and you're gonna do it. Something's gonna happen in your world because whatever you fall asleep doing is going to happen. And once you develop your the level of your attention to where you can actually fall asleep doing something, holding your attention on it, it's going to happen to you. So I'm going to train you on, call, on on counting $100 bills in your imagination. And as you start to do this, you can start to tell where your attention is and how much more work you need to do. Because if you're right in the middle of counting the first stack and all of a sudden you're thinking about what happened on Wednesday, or you start thinking about what you have to do tomorrow, or this person did this to you, or you have this going on, so then you have to bring your mind back. You keep pulling your mind back because the, the mind and the thoughts are like a butterfly. They're going to be flying around everywhere. You're going to have to keep bringing it back, bringing it back and making sure that you're holding your attention on the $100 bill and counting that one, two, and you're looking at the bills. You're feeling it. You're collecting the feeling of the ownership of the money. This is your money now. You're counting it and you're thinking from it. You're not thinking of it. You're, this is you counting your money in the three-dimensional world in your imagination. So feel each bill because this is your money. In the present moment, you're making the future now and counting out your money in your imagination. How well can you focus your attention on this? So this is a very powerful exercise that's going to develop your attention and it's also going to bring some very magical things to come into your life. And I've also used this technique and I've posted many testimonials on this and I've, and I've had hundreds of different testimonials where people that have done this successfully and had just magical things come into their life where money just came to them, $100 bills just started coming to them. They're seeing $100 bills everywhere. They're getting jobs. They're getting promotions. Uh, they're, they're running their own business. All of a sudden, they got all these new clients. You know, even when I used this technique myself the first time, I didn't have success when I first started counting the money because I didn't feel the ownership of it. But when I went back, I actually ended up counting someone else's money. When I counted out the $10,000 and I fell asleep with it, I went into a bank and someone asked me to count out their money. And it was $9,800 in cash. And as I'm counting it, I remember back to my imaginal scene. And I said, I, I was doing this in my imagination. Somebody had asked me to count their money. But I'm like, okay, so what did I do wrong? I got to go back to the drawing board because I didn't collect the ownership of the money. I was just counting it. So you want to make sure that you collect the ownership of it. But when I went back into it, studied it, and then I started counting the money in my own residence, my own home and, and my own table. So then I, I looked around in my imagination and I saw that I was in my house when I was counting the money. So the money had to be mine at that point. And that's what created the ownership of it. And also just practicing and developing my, my level of attention, you know, and counting this money. But eventually I got a job where I got paid in cash, exactly $10,000. And it was actually a counter offer that was actually exactly $10,000 that I counted out. But if you want the full video, you can go back in my videos. I have so many testimonials on using this, these techniques and counting money just imagining, visualizing, affirming, asking myself questions. You can go back through my channel and you can see all my testimonials. I talk about pretty much all of my testimonials. There's some that I haven't talked about yet, 
but I will get into those and, and more to come in the future. But in this video, it's not about me. It's about you. It's about you developing your level of attention. How well and sustained of an attention do you have on one thing for long periods of time? And you're going to be counting money while you're doing this. So you're going to get both sides. So let's see where you're at. Start doing this. I'm also going to put a card on the screen to a guided meditation where I can assist you in walking through the steps of counting to $100 bills all the way up to 100,000. It's going to assist you when you first start and it really can create a feeling state, but I really want you to also practice doing this on your own, maybe just listening to the Theta Waves or just doing it all by yourself. But if you need help at first counting the $100 bills, I'm gonna put a, a card up on the screen. It's a free guided meditation that you can click on, download that and use that to develop this skill. But I want you to see where you are with your developed attention. And it's going to tell you um, a lot of things about yourself and where you are in life. And as you develop this skill, you're going to see yourself start climbing the ladder. <laughs> you're going to start climbing the ladder, getting more successful the more you develop your attention on one thing. And you can do it for 5, 10, 20 minutes at one time without allowing any distractions in then you're, gonna, you're really gonna see some great things start coming into your life, especially when you start implementing feeling states and start really getting into the feeling that you already have things, the wish fulfilled, just like Neville Goddard stated right here. When you attain the control of the internal direction of your attention, you will no longer stand in shallow water, but will launch out into the deep of life. So now I'm going to put the card on the screen to the guided meditation to help you with counting the $100 bills with this exercise. But we're also going to do further exercises on this. So make sure that you stay tuned, subscribe, like this video, and make sure you have your notifications on. That way you get notified of the further exercises that we're going to do to get you to that next level. I love you all. And don't forget to give me one thing you are grateful in the comment box below. And I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.